welcome to the Super Size Phys Ed Podcast. I'm Dave. I'm your host, and I teach in Fort Myers, Florida, kindergarten through fifth grade. And I have a challenge for you. I'm calling it the Learn Something New Challenge 2020 or LSN 2020. We're going to make this a hashtag. We're going to make it memorable. Here we go. All right, everybody. So four and a half months, maybe even five, let that sink in. That might be the amount of time you and I have off from teaching, from school. Now, I know we're teaching at home. I know there's a lot going on and it's a different kind of challenge, but you have a lot of time. I have a lot of time. You know you do. You know you have a lot of time. And so what I suggest is a learn something new challenge. And I want to make sure this just takes off with my students, with my own children, and you, PE Nation. I want you to get on board with this because I think this will be amazing. So I want you to think about this four and a half months. Like, What can you accomplish in that time frame? It could be learn a new language, bake, cook a certain kind of meal, play an instrument, dance, learn a sport, learn how to draw or paint or sculpt or whatever. You know, think about what you really, really want to do and go for it. And this is the challenge. Don't let this time just go by. Do something about it. Because if you can't do anything in four and a half months, then there's a problem. You're just sitting around watching TV, everybody on their devices. And that's kind of sad. And I don't want that for you. I don't want that for me. That's why I put these things out. I don't want that for me. I'm challenging you and I'm challenging myself. So I am challenging myself and all of you to learn something new in one month. Now, you have four and a half months, so you could make this a little longer if you want. That's fine. We're going to talk about the SMART goals in a minute. But I'm challenging you for one month to learn something new. And then, hey, you want to keep going? Awesome. You want to try something different? Perfect. But try something new. Learn something new. For me, I actually have three. There's hula hooping, which my students know I just cannot hula hoop. And <laughs> I've been promising them I'm going to try. And I have been trying. But, man, I just I got to get the hula hooping down. Uh, for my students, if nothing else. And I've seen a lot of um, boys and girls, even like kindergarten, can hula hoop, some of them. Um, just uh, they're just They blow me away, and I just can't get it going. So hula hooping is one of them. I'm going to say that for later. Chess is another one. I love chess. I've always loved chess and playing chess and thinking about chess and, and reading about Bobby Fischer and um, just watching movies like uh, Searching for Bobby Fischer and reading books and I love chess. The thing is, I haven't really improved a lot in the last 10 years, and I have this app, which I've been using and trying to learn from, And um, it, yeah, but I'm going to go into that in a little bit, too. I'm going to save that for another month. Now, the one I'm going to, the one I'm going to focus on this time, and I'm going to document this, I'm going to put this out on Instagram and all sorts of places, is juggling. I've always wanted to learn how to juggle, and I don't think I'm going to learn how to juggle like eight things, <laughs> but if I can learn how to juggle three... Three tennis balls, three beanbags, three chainsaws, I don't know, three axes, three flaming knives. No, I'm just kidding. If I can learn how to juggle, I'll be very, very happy. So we got to talk about SMART goals. SMART goals are specific is S, M is measurable, A is attainable or I've heard achievable, R is realistic, I've heard relevant, and T is time bound or time sensitive. So let's think about this. Um, we're going to make a specific goal. So my goal is I will learn to juggle three balls. Specific. You can't just say I'm going to lose weight because uh, you need to be more specific. I'm going to lose 10 pounds. Or I'm going to learn to bake uh, ch chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Something. Specific. Okay, measurable. Um, how can you measure it? Well, I guess I can keep them in the air consistently for one minute. Okay, um, the A for attainable or achievable, is it possible but challenging? Um, yeah, I mean, it's possible, definitely. It's it's not something, you know, I can't say something that's not even, you know, possible. I can't say, well, I'm going to learn to juggle eight, you know, flaming <laughs> torches in one month. It's just not going to happen. That's not, that's not attainable, and it's not the next one either realistic. And it needs to make sense, too. Like, I can't say, well, I'm going to learn how to snowboard. Um, first of all, it's hot it's like 80, 85 90 degrees out today in florida um, we're not really able to <laughs> snowboard right now during this time uh, that everybody's uh, at home so it's got to be uh, attainable and realistic 
is the R. I have the materials. I have the time. It could, we, we could do it inside. I don't need a lot of people. I can do it by myself. And then time bound, I'm saying one month. So I'm going to give myself a month. Now, um, I can do it. If I, if I challenge myself for about 30 minutes a day, I'm going to watch some YouTube videos and follow along and really, really work on it. And I know you can too. Okay, I want you to think of something that you want to work on, and we're going to make this a revolution. We're going to make this a big challenge for everybody. I'm going to make this for my students. I'm going to make this for my children. I'm making it for PE Nation. You can do it, PE Nation. I'm challenging you, and I want you to do it. Get on board to learn something new challenge, and I'm going to leave you with that. We're going to get going. I'm going to give you a new beat. I want you to think about that. Learn the hashtag. Use the hashtag. I want to see it. I want to hear it. You guys and girls are awesome. Take care. Here we go.